National Board for Technical Education, MBTE, has advocated for the allocation of more funds to the polytechnics to enhance research and innovation for the development of the country. The Executive Secretary of the Board, Professor Idris Muhammad Bugaje, made the call at the inauguration of the MBTE Research, Development and Innovation Exhibition Hall in Kaduna. Professor Bugaje attributed the limited innovations and the research development development in the polytechnic institutions to lack of sufficient funding. He stressed the need for synergy between polytechnics and universities so as to bridge the gap in enhancing research, innovation, and development. Bugaja said the exhibition would be open throughout the year to enable industries and other stakeholders visit MBTE office with a view to witness the innovation of the polytechnic for partnership. In from Kaduna Polytechnic, Federal Polytechnic offer Auchi, uh, Mubi, and the rest of them different products, even in medical areas. And these are innovations which can help the Nigerian economy. And we believe seriously that if we can fund polytechnics in research and development, we will achieve more. A lot of the researchers in the, in the universities, they end up as journal papers. In the polytechnic, we are practically oriented. We are going to produce prototypes that can really make impact on the national economy that will stop importation of all these gadgets. We can make it in Nigeria if the Nigerian system can recognize Polytechnics as serious partners in research. So the point we are raising is the world should value, Nigeria should value the contributions of Polytechnics in research and development and give us more funding. We are inviting private sector to come and collaborate with these Polytechnics. This exhibition hall will be open throughout the year so that industries, other stakeholders can come to the MBTE and see what Polytechnics are able to produce. We are going to continue to upgrade this exhibition hall, update it and upgrade it, and we are going to facilitate this collaboration so that Polytechnics can you know, uh, be, be given the proper place. The executive secretary, however, assured that the support of stakeholders, the innovation would be produced in large quantity for commercialization. We have been investing money on research, but we are yet to see innovations going into commercialization. And for that reason, we want all those funding agencies and the government itself to realize there is need for a paradigm shift. There is something that we have gotten wrong. Polytechnics in this country have the capacity to deliver on R&D. And that is what, what today's guest speaker is going to tell us about. The role of Polytechnics in research, development, uh, research and development for national economic development. Now, importantly, <clears throat> a lot of the researchers going into the universities, they end up as journal papers. Very few attract patents. And beyond that, nothing happens. This is because there is a role which Polytechnics can play to take them to the level of innovation and commercialization. And unfortunately, Polytechnics have not been given the necessary funding to achieve that level of development. I will give you a typical example, which I gave at another forum. In the Ahmed Bella University, and I invited the Dean of Engineering, I don't know that he, he, he couldn't make it, but he said he was sending a representative. In the Ahmed Bella University, in the Faculty of Engineering, in my own department, Chemical Engineering, for more than 20 years, since 1990s, there was ongoing research on the development of zeolites. Zeolites are important catalysts used in fluid catalytic cracking process in the refinery. If you go to Kaduna refinery, there is an FCC unit. FCC stands for fluid catalytic cracking. The FCC unit has been important zeolites from overseas since 1970s. The FCC is also very critical because two-thirds of the petrol, PMS, or what you call gasoline, comes from the FCC unit. 
These zeolites are have been imported for decades. In the 1990s, Ahmed Ben University developed or carried out research, and they were able to produce zeolites in the laboratory. They were tested for cracking, and they proved very successful. 30 years down the line, we are yet to get that research to the level of commercial production. The reason for that is simply because we have not been able to develop a pilot plant that will produce the zeolites in semi-commercial level. They have been produced in test tubes, in small beakers, etc. But to move that to a pilot level, we have not been able to achieve it. Because the universities don't have capacity to fabricate pilot plants. There was a paper presented by Professor M.S. Haruna on the role of polytechnic research, development and innovation in socio-economic development in Nigeria. Conventional universities to polytechnics. The country is al has also announced it will be combating half of its public universities into institutions of applied learning or polytechnics to produce technically oriented minds and graduate with hands-on experience. This is helping not only to create critical mass of skilled workforce, but also entrepreneurship as many of the graduates opt for self-employment. China has over 1,359 higher vocational educational colleges compared to its 2,565 number of traditional universities that it says half of it will be converting to institutions that are of polytechnics cadre. India has 3,239 polytechnics at the last count with 5,288 number of universities compared with our own ratio. These polytechnics than the theoretical ones. These institutions offer courses at certificate, diploma, and degree levels. The foundation of knowledge-based economy is formed on a threefold. These threefold are technicians and craftsmen. That is what the ES in his welcome address portrays. You see, technicians are trained in craft school and technical colleges. Unfortunately, graduates of the university, while at that time I was on, and they are engineers. Now, the technician is skillful, can lead him to produce anything you need from him. While technologies trained in polytechnics and monotech, to get the result, they know it. The best person to do it is engineers, producers, as are called elsewhere, or technical university, know why you do it. You have the people who knows why to do, why you do it at all. You know, you have the people who know how to do it. And in the middle, you have the people who know what to do. You need a combination of these three to have any successful manufacturing economy. When you prioritize any and at the expense of the other, there is a gap and there will be no transition to manufacturing economy. Knowledge is important. You can proceed and have doctorate and postdoctorate. But the method of the, uh, those who have reached this peak is to try and employ and continuously getting dissatisfied, leading to new innovation, new thinking. But whatever they think, they are creating jobs for the engineers, for the technologies, for the craftsmen. Continuous innovation, continuous thinking, and sometimes imaginative. All the Europe 
are at least above average. The red line, North Africa. But then our own have mercy on us. <laughs> However, like there, the prophets would not have gone to war and do a lot of things brought about, as I said, of this industrial revolution. Another ranking from 1 to 121, the countries that prioritize technology, research and development, because you see the items that are used in this ranking are ICT, knowledge, skills, development, research and development, industry, a product of our developed economies that are at the peak. The chairman of the occasion, engineer Musa Abdullahi, spoke some research works and innovation brought from selected polytechnics across Nigeria were displayed, which include wind-powered water pump, avian micro egg incubator, 3D printer, rice husk, gas fire stove, and electronic scooter, among others. Right now, this director is actively engaged in cooperation with the Center for Technology Development of Kaduna Polytechnic in the development of curriculum for solar PV equipment, installation, and maintenance. Very soon, we'll go into small hydro equipment installation and maintenance and into wind turbine insulation and maintenance. You will agree with me, ladies and gentlemen, that the salvation of our country, Nigeria, which has such vast land and copious sunshine, lies in the development of solar energy. The operative word here and on this gathering is innovation creativity, creation. Let me borrow a quotation from a foremost British philosopher who said, all good things that exist are the fruits of originality. This is true. I love you originate, I love you create, you are inviting extinction. And this is what this gathering is all about, that we have to innovate, we have to create. And I'm glad to say here we have people who are in the forefront of this creation and innovation. Professor Edwin Bugaji and Professor M.S. Aruna. Let me see the opportunity to tell you the story of an inventor. He invited people to come and watch him launch his steamship. They were using rowing boats and the sailing ships by then. But he had invented a steamship and he invited people to come and watch him launch it. Among the audience was one of these Dalton Thomases who kept saying to all those who cared to listen, he cannot move it, he cannot move it. The inventor went into his contraption. There was a whiff of smoke, a whistle, and the contraption started to move. The Dalton Thomas, mouth open, started saying, he can't stop it, he can't stop it. <laughs> so what we are here, ladies and gentlemen, is to move the immovable. <laughs> and also stop the stop up. <laughs>
consider myself a part of not only Kaduna Polytechnic but also the National Board for uh, Technical Education. Uh, as the director of CTD, we are exhibiting about four out of the six items you have seen here. The center was created, nurtured and developed by the executive secretary of MBT while he was the rector of Kaduna Polytechnic. So in actual sense, in actual sense, he's actually exhibiting his own work uh, here and we are very proud to be here. We believe this is just the beginning. Uh, a lot of encomiums have been showered on the executive secretary and I can tell you there is a lot more. You are living witnesses of the transformation that has already taken place in, in the National Board for Technical Education. And uh, I know what I've been hearing from some of you directly, and I'm very, very pleased with that. I will tell you that the sky is the limit. He is, as far as I'm concerned, the champion of skills development in Nigeria. He has been fighting while he was a rector. He got the attention of uh, the TED Fund and the Ministry of Education and the Minister of Education uh, to the point whereby TED Fund uh, awarded, established six centers of excellence in skill development, awarding us about one billion naira each. Kaduna Polytechnic is a proud beneficiary of that. And uh, I will tell you that in the last uh, an event that took place in Abuja recently, just because of what he was saying about the challenges of paucity of skill manpower in Nigeria, it moved the executive secretary of TED Fund to grant another one billion to Nigerian Polytechnics uh, for skills training and development. I think we have a hero here uh, beyond compare. Thank you so much. We are pleased to be here. And we'll continue to be here. Supply to the soil and eventually, if it's saturated, it trips from again. So this was it. We also have an innovator that came out from the technical university and automated system. Seeing students crafting a bankable business plan, looking for where to source money, where to sell the product, where to place it, how to even market it. 
how to talk to the people that are buying your product. Without entrepreneurship, you can't have that. So Smedan is there to complement all the effort made by different polytechnics. We have a site where all these products are going to be advertised, going to be sold, and we are linking agency where we link you with where you cannot see, where you cannot touch, and where you cannot even talk to. So we have everything to do that for you. In every state, we have our offices. So we look forward to strengthen our partnership with MBT, which we have been doing in future. So we make it better, and congratulations for the tireless Executive Secretary, Professor Bugaji, as the Queen super welcome. So thank you very much.